Well, people all around the world are remembering this, the 30th anniversary of the Space Shuttle Challenger disaster. A science teacher at BRAC is making sure that her students don't forget the legacy of the Challenger crew members. Here's reporter Sonia Goins. Today is a huge day in the history of space travel. Students in Challen Johnson's 10th grade biology class are too young to remember the Space Shuttle Challenger explosion. When that Challenger exploded, it was 1986, and it was my first year of teaching at Breck. But Johnson wants them to remember what happened on January 28, 1986. And liftoff. The Space Shuttle Challenger launched from Kennedy Space Center and 73 seconds after liftoff, the shuttle exploded and broke apart over the Atlantic Ocean. Obviously a major malfunction. NASA officials were stunned and so was the rest of the world. We were watching it live and I was just dumbstruck. I didn't know how to react and I just burst out in tears. There were seven crew members on board, including a teacher. Everyone died in the blast. I never had the opportunity to meet Krista McAuliffe. I would have loved to. I was extremely jealous that she was on board. Um, that would, that's my, has been my dream of my lifetime is to, to be an astronaut. Johnson has a passion for astronomy and has worked on research for NASA. These are just different astronauts that I've met and, and worked with with various things. Three years ago, she was part of the SOFIA project. It's a 747 that has been modified to include a uh, infrared telescope in the back. Johnson says it's important to share the Challenger shuttle story with her students. So we don't give up. We, we keep trying, even though seven people lost their lives in this accident. She wants the dream of space exploration to live on through her students. The U.S. started flying again, and we flew over 120 missions on space shuttles. So we didn't give up. In Golden Valley, Sonia Goins, 12 News. NASA has had three tragedies in space, the Apollo 1 fire in 1967, the Challenger explosion in 1986, and in 2003, the Columbia shuttle dis dis disintegrated rather as it re-entered Earth's atmosphere.